Good morning. Welcome back to Jolie Farms in Ecuador. It's Joe and Lisa here again today. Glad you joined us. Thank you all for your uh, comments and subscriptions on our previous videos. Hope you'll continue to watch and uh, leave your comments. And, you know, maybe check and be sure that you're still subscribed to our channel. Because we have had an issue recently where all of a sudden in the middle of the night, 15 subscriptions will just go away. Well, and we've noticed on our account, too, that sometimes it's like, what happened to those people? Oh, we're not subscribed anymore. Something happened. Yeah, Lisa has her own YouTube account, and she was unsubscribed from our <laughs> channel by YouTube. Now, um, luckily, we, we had that up there, so we could check it. Mm -hmm. So if you'll please check, make sure you're still subscribed. YouTube has some weird problem with unsubscribing some of our people, and I don't know why that is, but it yeah. is what it is. Technology. Yeah. So today, um, we're going to talk about saving money in Ecuador. We're going to give you some tips and tricks for that. And it's obviously not the only ways, because there's probably all kinds of ways, but these are just ones that um, we've talked about and want to bring to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are uh, a lot of ways to save money, but these are proactive ways that when you're here, you can really, um, one, save money, and two, not impact the economy negatively. So the first one, let's talk about transportation. Yeah, so, um, you know, we own a car, uh, as do some expats. Some expats choose not to. Mm -hmm. And I'll just tell you, a car is a very expensive undertaking here in Ecuador. Um, the cars maintain their value well, so you ca used cars sell for a lot. Now, we live outside of town, so for us, getting backwards and forth to town, a car is... Um, needed. It's now, necessary. most, if you live in the city, you don't really need a car. You can live in the village of Bilcabamba and never have a car. Mm -hmm. So um, one way to save is don't buy a car unless you absolutely have to. <laughs> That'll save a lot. Yeah. And so uh, there are taxis. Taxis can take you everywhere. We can get taxis here to our house, mm -hmm. $4 each way. Um, so, you know, that's not a deal breaker. Yeah, all on your taxis, always check your price before you agree to take the ride. Yeah, in the city, they're they're supposed to automatically start the little uh, meter. Um, but out here in the country, they don't have those meters mm -hmm. in Bilcabamba. So always ask before you get a ride somewhere what it's going to cost. Different and, taxi uh, drivers charge different amounts. Yeah, they're not supposed to, but they do. And so you need to be aware of it. So um, there's a ways to save money without taking a taxi, and um, that would be the bus. We have ridden the bus here before. We have. And it's very inexpensive. I, I, when we rode it, I think it was like about a buck a piece to go to Aloha. Yeah, it wasn't much. I think 50 cents to a dollar or something like that. It was not much. And it runs like, what, every 15 minutes? I don't know. It runs a lot. Yeah, there's yeah. Four there are four different bus lines that run back and forth to Loja from here. There's not a shortage of buses. Yeah. Now, don't don't hold us these prices because the prices have changed a lot, mm -hmm. especially since the pandemic. But it's going to be fairly close. Mm -hmm. But we have found we like what's called the taxi ruta, actually, even a little better. Yep. And these are dedicated taxis that are subsidized by the government. And they drive from Vilcabamba to Loja and back, back and forth, mm -hmm. all day long, about every 15 minutes. They leave from the bus terminal in Vilcabamba. You share this taxi with up to four other people. Now, you could buy the whole taxi for yourself, probably for, you know, under $10. Mm -hmm. But I will say that um, it's very cheap if you're sharing it. And so, like, Lisa and I have done that. And I don't know, two bucks a piece, something like that. And again, pre-COVID, it was it was yeah. not much. Yeah, so that's about what the pricing is, and it takes you to their um, their offices in Loja, which is a couple of blocks from the Central Mercado, very mm -hmm. easily walking distance to all of downtown. Or they will let you off along the way. Yeah, they will do that. Yeah. So um, yeah, taxi route is is a, is a great example. Sure. Um, again, there's no shortage of buses here in Ecuador. In cities like Cuenca, you now have the electric train, mm -hmm. and you can buy, I understand, a, a little card in advance, and you get so many trips, you know, on the train, and you get it discounted, yeah. uh, especially if you're over 65. Yes, yeah. yes. So, yeah, there's a lot of ways now. You know, one of the things that's kind of neat, too, is there's van shuttle services here that will take you to places like Cuenca. Uh, Ishkaluma, Hosteria mm -hmm. has a, a nice van. We've taken that a lot of times. A lot. 
Yeah, and that's, I think, somewhere in the neighborhood of 25 bucks a piece now. Um, I'm not sure. Back when we did it pre-COVID, it, it was like 20. Yeah, I think, I think it's 25 now, so you have to reach out to them and check. Cheaper than a taxi. And they make one stop along the way at a, a midway. gas station midway mm -hmm. to for a restroom break. Yeah. And so that's, you know, a four and a half hour trip. And the van is comfortable. It's nice. The drivers are good. Mm -hmm. um, there's also, I think, elite. Um, elite tours. Elite tours in Loja that will take you to Cuenca. But, of course, then you've got to get from here to Loja. True, true. And they drive a little faster. They are a little less safe, I think, than this van driver. They drive really slow uphill and really fast downhill. Now, they've gotten some new uh, vans, I understand, since we last um, used their service, so maybe they're a little better. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, there's just lots of ways to do that here, and um, we really like it. Uh, we like the, you know, the shuttle service. The taxi Ruta works. Um, I still take the taxi Ruta if I need to, like my car's in the shop or whatever. Oh, yeah. And it works very well. Okay, what's next? Um, Another great way to save money in Ecuador is in where you stay, in your hosteria or hotel. Yeah, now, depending on whether you're here as a, you know, as a tourist or whether you're here to live long term, these things change. But um, so, you know, for backpackers, Ishkaluma has a backpacker lodge. It used to be eight bucks. I would imagine it's probably ten now, maybe twelve. Mm. But you stay in a backpacker lodge there, so very economical. Well, there's a lot of places that I think have shared hosteria rooms, where you you pay for basically a bed. Yeah, and so that's available here. Um, so you know the high end of hotels here, your your Descanso del Toro. You know they're going to be fifty bucks a person per night. Mm -hmm. Really nice hotel. Nice accommodations. Then you've got places like La Terranza, which you've seen in one of our videos. Yeah, there's a, a lot of... It just depends on what you're wanting to do. If you spend a lot of time in your hotel room and you like the nicer accommodations, you know, really, really nice. Yeah. But, um, but if you want to spend most of your time outside and exploring Ecuador, might as well go for a less expensive space. Yeah, and today would be a great day to explore Ecuador. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. The wind stopped blowing. Yeah. The sun is out. It's a little cool this morning, but great day to hike today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, La Taranza is from 20 bucks a person per night. And uh, if you're just looking for a place to hang your head, a nice swimming pool, there yeah. it is. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we, we question swimming pools, but it does get warm enough here, especially down in town. Yeah, especially in, in the center of Vilcabamba, it does. Mm -hmm. Now, in Cuenca, we like to stay at a little place called Pegasus Hotel. Um, so that's a nice little hotel. Um, it's right in El Centro, in the heart of things, a couple blocks from the chapel. Mm -hmm. um, it is uh, the cathedral, I should say. It is uh, 20 bucks a night per person and up, depending mm -hmm. on which, which room you get. Yeah. Um, they also give you breakfast for that. Uh, we usually eat across the street at Colo Restaurant owned by my good friend Frank and his lovely wife. Shout out to Frank. Shout out to Frank. So, yeah, um, great place to stay. I've stayed there three or four times now. Uh, like it, you know. If you want something more elaborate, you can go a few blocks away to Victoria Hotel and pay 100 bucks, 120 bucks a night. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, have it in a historic hotel, um, an old mansion. You've probably seen our video on that. Very fancy, really nice. Really nice, yeah. Um, but we really like the Pegasus. It's mm -hmm. good room, it's got nothing that's lacking at all. We like it. Yep, yep. So um, let's also talk about um, Food. eating, dining out. Yeah. So um, that's kind of can be all over the place, just depending on what you want. It really can. Prices here are a lot cheaper, though. The, cheaper than the States. Yeah. So, um, you know, I say... Look for the local restaurants. And when I say local, you know, local Ecuadorian, if you're trying to save money, look for things like what we call almorezo here. That's, that's a lunch special. So both desayuno in the morning, they usually have a breakfast special, and then mm -hmm. they'll have a lunch special. Mm -hmm. Those are going to be cheaper than anything you order off the menu. And, you know, it's going to come with a main dish, which could be chicken, goat. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not like, 
it's one thing, but they do fix a special, but you get like a soup to start off with. You usually get a dish with a meat and rice, maybe some plantain or some kind of fry. salad on there. Yeah, a little salad. You're going to get a drink of some sort. It could mm -hmm. be anything from the horchata that they like to make here mm -hmm. to uh, lemonade. They make a lot of lemonade. Sure. So you're going to get a little drink that goes with that. Here in Vilcabamba, that's, you know, $3, three fifty, right in that range. Yeah. Um, I've seen it in Loja for two fifty, dollars mm -hmm. And uh, I've seen it in Cuenca as low as $2. Yeah. Yeah, it just depends on where you go. How much competition there is for it and that type of thing but that's correct i mean it's a full meal now when you order off the menu you know the price is going to go up a dollar or two mm -hmm. depending on what it is but look in for an these, ecuadorian uh, restaurant yeah look for these little ecuadorian restaurants you know they're great mm -hmm. and you know right here in vilcabamba there's a lot of restaurants where you can walk in order a, a nice sandwich or a hamburger and you know get a drink with it and you're out the door for five bucks yeah. And, um, you know, and a, a really nice size hamburger. And, uh, you know, Charlito's, uh, Rustica, um, Natural Yogurt, they have a wonderful um, crepe de pollo. So it's a chicken crepe with all these vegetables in it. it takes up an entire plate <laughs> and it is four bucks. And uh, full of veggies and meats and it's just a full meal. Yeah, that and a drink and you're out the door for under five bucks. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, a yeah, that that probably lasts you all day if you eat that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, look for those little Ecuadorian restaurants, little out of the way places. Um, you know, if you're trying to save money, there's a lot of ways to do that. There are. And this the food, don't be afraid of the local food because it's pretty good. You gotta reach out and expand your horizons, I think. Yeah. And uh try things like motepillo, which is a dish here made out of like hominy, I would call it. In the U.S., they call it a hominy, but cooked really different. Yeah, it's cooked different and mm -hmm. um, egg mixed in it. And, mm -hmm. you know, motepillo, you can get a, a serving of that for a buck and a half mm -hmm. and then get a drink, two bucks, yeah. you're out of there. And uh, that's a pretty good little meal. And, yeah, Lisa's come to love that thing like trigrillo, mm -hmm. which is the uh, plantain. Yeah, plantain with eggs, a little bit of queso in it. They can add some meat into it if you want. Um, really good. So try the Tegrillo because that's a, also a very inexpensive meal, easy mm -hmm. to get. What else do we like like that? I like empanadas. You know, oh, yeah. Empanadas. We've learned to love the empanadas. Yeah, and you can get them, you know, with just cheese or you can get them with different meats in them. And mm -hmm. uh, Verde empanadas, the green ones, are just wonderful. You can get the Verde almost anywhere, but there is a place in town that now has smoked meat in them. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to Sammy's Restaurant. Yes. Catherine and Bobby, they're doing a great job over there smoking chicken. Yeah. And you can order a whole smoked chicken, half, quarter. Yeah. Or you can get the empanadas with smoked chicken, smoked pork, cheese. Um, they have a Hawaiian version. Yeah, I was going to say, a lot of the things that they do here is like the meats are mixed with pineapple or um, the nachos mixed with the mangoes. They what a treat. Mango, spicy mango nachos that are out of this world. Yeah. And you can either get smoked chicken or smoked pork on those. Wow, really makes a nacho. It works. So, yeah, you know, a lot of these hosterias are going to have breakfast included. So mm -hmm. you might want to look at that as well. It's it, usually, you know, it's it's a meager breakfast, some eggs, toast. It is. It you is. know, a little tagrillo or something on there. Yeah, on those... Those areas where you get the breakfast for free, like most continental breakfasts in the U.S., just don't set your hot, your sights really high on those because it's just sustenance to get you moving for the day. Yeah. And, you know, they all have coffee. So, yeah, mm -hmm. coffee is always good. Now, some restaurants, you know, especially in Cuenca, are going to serve a, a freeze-dried coffee, an instant coffee. Yeah. Um, most of the restaurants around here are serving uh, drip coffee. Mm. of some sort, um, but but they consider that kind of a mainstay in Cuenca's, you know, that's almost deemed upper class <laughs> to be serving you a instant coffee. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so expect that also. All right, what's next? Shopping. Let's go shopping. Yeah, you know, that's a, that's a big subject <laughs> because um, shopping here, man, I've been in some stores that, well, first of all, they don't have things to fit guys like me. 
True, <laughs> true. Yeah, if you're really tall, yeah, you're going to have to ship it in. Really tall, really big feet. I have to order my shoes mm -hmm. typically from the U.S., have them send over by Amazon. Cost me 20, 30 bucks to get them here. Yeah. It's just That's just the life. Or, you know, if you can, you know, bribe somebody to put them in their suitcase for you and uh, bring you a pair that way. And just make sure if you're traveling back to the U.S., bring extra pair of shoes. Yeah. You know, we leave here when we go to the U.S. with empty suitcases and yes. then we get there and fill them up and come back. Yeah. So, yeah, shopping, you know, um, when it comes to things like clothes and that, there's lots of things here. Uh, you'll mm -hmm. see a lot of people here wear the uh, stretch yoga type pants mm -hmm. because they're like two for five dollars. You know, you go into Loja or in the Cuenca and the Mercados. Those things are cheap, and yeah. uh, that's why they wear them. Um, when it comes to grocery shopping and that, um, you can shop Super Maxi, Granite Key, you know, those kind of places. And um, it's going to be a little more expensive uh, than if you shop, you know, at your local tiendas. Yeah, it, it's really a change of pace to not buy everything at the grocery store. The... Uh, Shopping on the, the weekends when you have the Mercados is really nice. You're, you know you're getting fresh food. Um, most of the times you can get organic food, um, but you just have to shop around. But definitely, we don't buy everything at Super Maxi. We buy bulk paper goods at Super Maxi. Yeah, some of those necessities, you know, cleaners or something. But, mm -hmm. you know, even that, there's there's tins here that sell organic type cleaners and that for the mm -hmm. bathroom and kitchen. They do. Um, Vinegar is available here everywhere. Uh, so, you know, before you launch off to the Mercado, you know, we like the Saturday Mercado here in Vilcabamba. But um, you need to understand the pricing and so that you go in educated. Yeah, the... You know, a lot of people say you get taken advantage of because you're a gringo. That's really not that true. You get taken advantage of because you don't know the local pricing. Um, we, I have vendors that I deal with every week, and they have never, ever tried to take advantage of us. Um, I can walk outside of my uh, normal sphere of influence and, and go to somebody that I haven't used before and find that they want to charge me two times more than what I would normally pay. And you just politely turn around and say, no, thank you, and walk away. And if, you know, I don't haggle with them a lot because we've been farmers. There's not a lot of money in farming. And so I don't want to, oh, you know, pay, some, pay for something that's overpriced because then they think that that's okay to, to charge people more when it's really not because you don't want an Ecuadorian not to be able to afford basic food. And so like one lady was selling some pineapples, some small pineapples, and I asked her how much they were and she told me, well, they're $2. And it's like, well, that's pretty small for $2. I don't think I can do that this week. And she says, for you, a dollar. Okay, a dollar I can spend. But a lot of times they will haggle back with you if you're politely turning around saying no. Yeah, you know, making faces and going, oh, that's too high. Yeah. That's not going to win you very many friends. And But if you say, oh, no, thank you, I can't afford that, and then turn around to leave if they stop you and offer a lower price, wonderful. Yeah. Um, you know, you'll, you'll soon learn $2, $2.50 for a head of broccoli is not correct. No. A dollar, a dollar and a quarter. Depending That's, on the size. Yeah, depending on the size. Um, so, yeah, when you start hearing $2 on a head of broccoli back away or 2 bucks for a mango, mm -hmm. 2 bucks for an avocado, then, yeah. then someone's trying to take advantage of you. Yeah, and a lot of times the season does impact things. The size of it does impact things. But once you comprehend what the normal price is, you can go, oh, my gosh, I'm getting twice as much for, you know, a, you know, a 50 cents more then you can go, okay, this is this is still a pretty good deal. Yeah, so just make yourself aware of what things sell for here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if you really want to save some money on your produce and like that, get together with some friends and go out to Puerto Seco in Puerto Seco. Uh, Loja. Mm -hmm. Puerto Seco in Loja. And uh, so it's kind of like a wholesale farmer's market. 
but you buy things in bulk there, like a big giant bag of potatoes and giant bags of mangoes or avocados, cases of apples. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you can save some money there, but you've got to have some people help you divide that up and participate in that. Yeah, if you're trying to do it yourself and you're going to try to put all that up, you may waste all of your savings because you don't get it put away properly fast enough. Yeah, your potatoes. I mean, if they go bad before you can use them all, then you really haven't saved any money. Yeah. Um, and we find potatoes right here in Vilcabamba at Vilcanita Fruit Stand pretty cheap. You know, we drop in there once or twice a week and pick up what we need and come home. Well, and the way a, a sack of potatoes works is the really nice ones are on top. Down below are really small, not as pretty ones. Or so, they could be already sprouting out. Oh, yeah. They sprout out pretty fast with the yeah. climate here. So you really have to process them pretty quickly. But, yeah, getting together a little buying group and going out there, that's a great way to save money. Mm -hmm. um, and, again, putting some things up. If you're just visiting, of course, you're not going to want to do that. Um, you'd never go through that many potatoes. You wouldn't, but as a tourist attraction, it's a really interesting cool place, place to, to go, go to. Yeah. And you can buy everything out there, you know, dried beans, um, you name it, uh, honey. Eggs. Eggs, whatever. Fruit. Yeah. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. Lots of great stuff out there. Okay. Um, what else do we have? The last one is tourist attractions and being able to go and do things that are fun. Yeah. So, um, you know, it depends on what you want to do. Uh, we've said in our video about the zoo here in Vilcabamba, 50 cents for kids, a dollar for adults. I think over 65, yeah. I get in for 50 cents. And that's an all day thing. So you can go swimming while you're there. You can go to the zoo park. You can have picnics in the beautiful um, picnic area. Yeah. So, I mean, you can do some things for cheap. The, uh, the park behind the Coliseum here in Vilcabamba is absolutely free. Mm -hmm. uh, they got basketball courts. they got soccer fields. they got playscapes for kids. They have workout exercise equipment uh, for free there you can use. That's in a lot of the parks. Yeah. Hipero Park is absolutely free in Loja. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you can go into Hipero, spend the whole day for nothing, and really enjoy the park and uh, you know, get in some outdoor time. Yeah, if you enjoy parks, family parks, um, Ecuador does them very well, and there's a lot of them. Yeah, they, they put great emphasis on the family here, mm -hmm. and, and that's seen through their parks without a doubt. Um, there are some things you, you know, you can do like horseback riding here, mm -hmm. you know, different prices, you know, like three or four different outfitters here in Vilcabamba. Yeah. They can take you up to the waterfalls at Yambarada Alto. That's kind of like almost an all day trip. Well, you can either hike to the waterfalls or you can ride a horse to the waterfalls. We recommend in the horse. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Mandango, you know, of course, those kind of trails are all free to hike. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of those kind of things you can do for absolutely free. There are tourist attractions in um, uh, Baños. Um, while we haven't been, we've studied it a bit. Mm -hmm. And some of those things cost, you know, a buck, two bucks. Um, really, you know, fun stuff to do. Of course, you got to get to Baños. Yeah, and a lot of these things that we're telling you about that are really inexpensive, you're not going to find on the Internet. They're just local little companies that have positioned themselves to um, take people on tours. Chino's Bikes right here in Vilcabamba, um, on hill there at Chino's, he uh, does bike tours and stuff. He'll take mm -hmm. groups out. Um, he rents bikes, of course. So if you just want to rent a bike and go ride, mm -hmm. um, you know, he can fix you up with that or he can take you on a group tour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know what he charges. You have to reach out to on hill for that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, those things are great. And, you know, we have a couple of taxi drivers here that are really good at um, taking people on tours uh, Jose Abad and Roberto Torres, they'll uh, they'll take you to Banos if you want to go all the way to Banos. Um, they'll take you up there, take you to all the the tourist attractions, the Devil's Falls, they call it. Well, those are a little bit more expensive because you're basically buying their time, so they do have to pay for all of that. But it's yeah. still less expensive than commercial tours. If you want to go up into Podocarpus Park, they can take you up there. Um, of course, you can take a bike and a taxi and ride up there yourself. Mm -hmm. um, that's certainly available. 
So the Wander Bus, we've mentioned that here before. Wander Bus is a great way to see Ecuador. Yeah, I've checked the prices on that lately. I heard that it's cheaper than some and more expensive than other things. Yeah, it's somewhere in the neighborhood about $400, depending where you get on and get off. Mm -hmm. But you can see a lot of Ecuador for that kind of money. Yeah, I think if you want a really good overview of Ecuador, that's probably a really good way to do it. We have some friends who've done it, and they, they thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's some great stuff to do there. One of the things I'll say, too, is if you're going to immigrate to Ecuador um, and become part of this culture, um, once you're over 65 and you have a permanent residency, um, so you'll have your permanent cedula, your little national ID, um, there are many, many discounts for people over 65. Mm -hmm. I have get my internet discounted for one. Um, they have a sales tax here that's called uh, EVA, IVA. And so that's 12 or 14%, something in that neighborhood. I can get that money back every year since I'm over 65, up to about $1,800 a year. That's a big savings. It's a big savings. Now, any flight that originates in Ecuador, I'm going to get a 50% discount on. So if I fly from here to Quito, I get half off. If I fly to the Galapagos, I get it for half price. Um, Lisa has to pay full price. Yeah. But I get it for half price. So if I want to fly from here to the States, half price. But again, we've, we've mentioned before, over 65, there's a lot of respect here, and um, they really go out of their way to help older people. Yeah, you, you get into the old people's line at the bank. Mm. I do that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's a lot of discounts available for older people. And as I mentioned, the zoo mm -hmm. uh, is cheaper if you're over 65. And you did get in cheaper. Yeah, I got in yeah. cheaper. So, um, yeah, there's lots of ways to save money here. Um, this country is so inexpensive as it is. Um, there are some things that are inexpensive, and cars is one of them. Cars is a big one. Anything imported, just mm -hmm. add 30% to uh, automatically. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be 30% higher. Yeah, you don't have to ship everything in. They do have um, stores, tiendas, and online uh, places where you can buy stuff that came from the U.S., but you are going to pay the import fee. Yeah. Now, Lisa can buy shoes here with no problem. She's My got feet a, are small. Small feet, yeah, no no biggie. Um, yeah. For me, yeah, it's near impossible. Payless Shoes does carry some size 13s, mm -hmm. and they're located in Loja. But, I mean, it's either the black ones or the brown ones. And, uh, they're and not if they're a lot out of variety. black, they'll, they'll order them for you. They will. I got some house slippers there. They were mm -hmm. out of out of ones I wanted in my size. Ordered them in about three days. They were there. I went yeah. ahead and got two pair. yeah. Because, you know, they got that buy the first pair, get the second pair or half off mm. kind of thing. Uh, still makes them expensive. but um, Yeah, but now you have a backup pair. Now I got a backup pair. Yeah, so um, labor, anything labor-oriented here is going to be cheaper. Mm -hmm. um, anything imported is going to be more. Right. Local food is going to be cheaper. Your, mm -hmm. your small hosteria is um, going to be cheaper. So if you're looking to, to get out for a little bit of money and see Ecuador, I think we've kind of covered a few ways to do that. Yeah, I think we have. This is not everything, but it's a start anyway. Yeah, it's more of if you're visiting yeah. in a lot of ways, how, yeah. how you can save some money. You don't have to. You can spend extra money. People will definitely um, give you something really nice. But if that's not your priority, your priority is seeing the seeing everything that Ecuador has to offer, there's other ways. Yeah, and you know, if you can save some money, then, hey, maybe you can help somebody along the way, right? That's right. Pay it forward. Okay, I think that's about all we got for today. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.